Iota, the primary subspace communications array, failed the diagnostic again. The latest repair attempt didn't work. I was afraid of that, Mress. Hopefully we can find a solution before we rendezvous with the fleet at Bering Garrier 7. I have a few ideas left. Maybe one of them will pan out. Still no luck with the comms array, huh? We just can't figure it out, John. And only 47 hours until we rendezvous. You should try inverse phasing of the power distribution system. It worked when we were trying to realign the main deflector dish after we encountered that Orion pirate ship. Oh, so that's what did the trick, huh? Not sure how the subspace array would be fixed by that technique. Well, inverse phasing also worked on the dilithium articulation array problem we had back on Stardate 1517.2. Inverse phasing is proven as an effective repair technique. Oh, okay. I'll have the comms team try that right away. Excuse me, officers. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Commander? The argument you are employing, Mr. Kyle, is not logical. In fact, you are exhibiting the proof-by-example fallacy, also known as inappropriate generalization. His reasoning seemed to make sense. That may be so, Lieutenant, but the form of his argument is invalid. Proof-by-example is a logical fallacy, whereby the validity of a statement is illustrated through one or more examples or cases, rather than a full-fledged proof. Examples may constitute a valid, if inelegant, proof when the examples are exhaustive, that is, only when it can be demonstrated that the examples chosen cover all possible cases. However, in the general case, a few examples of a contention being correct does not make a valid case that the contention is true in all instances. Mr. Kyle, your argument that inverse phasing is a universal repair technique was invalid due to the relative paucity of positive examples and because the examples were not exhaustive. Thank you, Mr. Spark. Yes, I shall rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as proof by example or inappropriate generalization. It's only logical.